Dude, what is the, what is with this right here? This is an eyesore being in front of the store, but it's okay. Look at this Mickey Mouse. This has a rounded corner and that doesn't have a rounded corner. This just made it worse. <sighs> Dang, it sounds like a haunted house in here. It's gonna be scaring the ladies. This is, this is junk. Like yeah. you, you made the wall like Fort Knox and yeah. you made this like Hello yeah. Kitty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you go. Like, I'll get through this in 10 seconds. Wait till I see these guys. You're gonna give me a, a flat corner, which is the modern, which I want over here. And you're gonna give me a rounded corner over here. Awesome. We're on our way to the Lithonia store. All right, Dallas. Yo, here we go, baby. I'm super stoked and excited because we're taking Zakira down. We are here to check out this new space. We're going to meet a contractor. I've never met this guy before. I worked with a lot of contractors in Atlanta. Hi, Dallas. So we got our guy Carlton, referred by Raj. So that could be good or bad. <laughs> okay, that could be good or bad. I need someone that can pull a permit over at the city of Stonecrest. He said he's pulled them before, so that's Good news. He was pretty cool. He was still nice, but it was it was different. Look, I love it. First off the floor. It's simple work. We need a partition wall, tile floor, a little bit of paint, and a couple outlets. That's it. Basically, the main things we need to do here is we need to build a partition wall. He seems really legit, and he said he's gonna get me the quote within 24 hours. He knows that I need to make moves with this project. How long do you think a project like this would take? I always have it done in a week. In a week? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, man. Okay. Long legs, low car. It's a nice day. All right. This is such an easy project. The quilt took forever, so I was hoping it was going to be a really good one. And it literally was probably more than twice as much as I expected. That last guy with that estimate should be illegal. This is like crazy. There's no way I'm doing this. Cause this is so easy. It really is. I mean, this place is ready. Like, oh my gosh. Like, um, I can build a small house in a village with the amount of the money that this guy was asking for. That estimate was way too high. Too much money. Nah, nah bruh. No sir. Okay, put the brakes. Skirt. Go charge somebody else. Yet, we're not fools. One wall, tile, some paint. He was only tiling here, not even the back. And then the wall just here. This is crazy. So now I gotta get another quote as fast as possible. I am going to use my number one resource for finding about everything here in Atlanta. My personal Facebook page. One of my Facebook friends tagged one of my other friends who just slipped my mind, has his own construction agency. I reached out to my guy, Joey. I said, Joey, I need you there ASAP. I need a great estimate. He's on his way. Well, Joey will be here in 10 minutes. Good. We can see what we got. I might not even tell Joey to paint just to keep the estimate low and have Isa come in here and paint and just say, Joey, build me a wall. I might not even tell him to put the outlets in the wall because mm. I can have Isa add the outlets like that. Oh, we have power. Yeah. We've Let's got the power. I forgot we even had power. Let's see. And there was light. Hey, man. So it's someone that Mikey actually knows. What's up, son? Beautiful, baby. That's what the lady is saying. Hey, what's up? Um, you know Dallas? Nice to meet you. No, we haven't met before. But I like your truck. Okay, so Joey pulls up in this like $100,000 truck. So I'm thinking my quote is gonna be a little extra. So awesome, this truck is pulling in and it's like huge, like this giant truck. It's so- Joey, you see that nice ass truck? <laughs> Don't think that you're paying for that truck with this estimate today, okay? <laughs> First thing I let him know is, look, I don't care how expensive your truck is, we're not doing that for my quote because those big rims and everything else, I'm not being part of paying for that. Here we go. All right, we are back. So today we're going to the Charlotte location. Hey, Carolina's baby, it's happening. We gotta figure out how to work that lockbox again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we get to the location and there's no power. 
Like the power company never turned the power on. What? I keep wanting to say, I've got the power, but uh, it's not. I can't wait till they put the power on. Charlotte, we got a problem. The power wasn't on. I, I called weeks ago to make sure the power was on. Hello, um, I am a new um, commercial business customer. And our power, I believe, was supposed to be turned on sometime last week. The problem was that all the breakers were still turned on, so they weren't going to turn the power on. It's really hard to get this construction work done, the spray, you know, the paint sprayer and everything else going on in there without any power. So that means off is what? This way, correct? I guess so, that's off. We had turned everything off on the inside, but there was something in the back that we had to have turned off. So no power we're working in the cold with isa and it's just slowing us down i got the power okay it's off i hope this is an eyesore being in front of the store but it's okay so i've turned them off yeah i said i am not an electrician i am a hairstylist Oh, I saw a light, I was like, did they just turn it off? <laughs> I reached back out to the power company, only to find out after the contractor rented a generator that the main breaker was still turned off. Isa, good news about the power, sir. I just got off the phone with Duke Energy. Thankfully, I have been a customer for theirs for a week, so we got a lot of pull. Uh, they couldn't turn the power on because the breaker's wrong, so we just got to flick the breakers. They're going to be here probably by 2 o'clock to turn everything off. So we're good. So I had my contractor go outside, flip the main breaker, hit all the other breakers inside, and now we have power. Okay, Isa, let's see. What do we need to do here today? The previous company that was in there, it was another hair company. It looked like a Mickey Mouse design in there. Look, <laughs> what are you gonna do with this little Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse coffee hey, machine? Nobody I had a coffee to... machine like that for a long time, man. As Mikey would say, that Mickey Mouse. <laughs> He says Mickey Mouse on everything that he does not like. Because it's just me drinking coffee. But Dallas, this is private label extensions. We're going to have the Keurig here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we are all Keurig. So Duh. we're going to have to get some paint done. Repaint everything. Now, the walls here can be semi-gloss, the white. Because, you know, kids are going to be kicking it and everything else, okay? Uh, we're going to have to fix some ceiling tiles. Maybe if you can spray paint that white. So we're going to have to move some doors for security purposes. Take this one off and put it in the front. The same, it's the same size store, 36 inch store. Solid. Yeah, solid though. Really just get it ready to open really fast. I'm not doing anything with the ceiling or lighting yet. That might be another day. You know, this, I don't want to spend too much money opening this. You know what I mean? Because we're trying to open up Lactonia too. So it's going to be a lot. Hi, this is Dallas. How can I help you? Bring me some damn hair. <laughs> send me photos of the of all inside here and send me some photos of the strippers and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Isa, I'll see you later, okay? We are going to Detroit. I talked about how cold we were before, but baby, we're going to some more cold. We got a lot of business here, Dallas. It's a lot. Eight miles. Here we come. Hey, we're now, right on eight, we eight, eight miles right here. We, we are here. Miles. We have to get the fire inspection. We have to get the building inspection. The place should look just A plus mint. We spent money on Detroit. This is like the private label landmark store of the north. Now, on, when you see eight miles, you're going to think Eminem. Mike. Okay. <laughs> Take it over. Dude, look at these. I'm super, super excited because I've seen the floors and I can't wait to get there to actually look at them for myself. Somebody here already. Who's this guy? Hey, man. How are you? What's going on? What's going on, man? Okay, so I walk into the store. It is Beautiful. I mean, just stunning from head to toe. Wow. The floors you can see from the parking lot, like when you're walking up to the door, they look incredible. And I'm looking at the floor and I'm somewhat mesmerized by it until I see these two spots that they just left all these wires coming out. Like, the store looks good. It's like, I was like, yeah. Oh, 
what the hell is that? Man, what's going on? I'm here in Detroit. Dude, what is, what is with this right here? What am I gonna do with these two spots in the middle of a showroom? I, I don't know what to do about this. Is this Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse? Which one? Mikey calls it Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I'm looking at this right now and I'm thinking, oh my God, I flew all the way up here. I have this all scheduled and now I'm not gonna pass my building inspection. You know, I'm a little particular about construction and how things are done. First things first, the baseboards. They were Mickey Mouse, these tiny little four inch baseboards. What are we gonna do with these t tall ceilings and these tiny little baseboards? I said specifically a one by six baseboard. Look at this Mickey Mouse. This has a rounded corner and that doesn't have a rounded corner. This just made it worse. Oh. Not only that, the one side had a square edge baseboard and the other side had a rounded baseboard. Wait till I see these guys. You're gonna give me a, a flat corner, which is the modern, which I want over here. And you're gonna give me a rounded corner over here. Yeah. Then I go over to the security door area and it's supposed to be a metal frame with a solid metal door. You have to switch this to a metal frame because that's wood frame. I can, get, I can get through this in about three seconds. And this is like a, it's a aluminum door. That's like a fake aluminum. <laughs> Dang, it sounds like a haunted house in here. It's gonna be scaring the ladies. This is like a wood frame that if there's like a snowstorm and the wind blows in here, it's gonna blow this door open. We're not having that. This is Detroit and our security is gonna be like Ocean's 11. This is, this is junk. Like yeah. you, you made the wall like Fort Knox and yeah. you made this like Hello yeah. Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Like, I'll get through this in 10 seconds. All right, so today both inspectors showed up and we are like a little bit concerned. The fire marshal came in, he pulls up in his car. I start ask, asking him all about his car. He gets all excited. First thing he sees is the beautiful floors. And he's like looking around, sees the beautiful ceiling. It's like, okay, this place is luxury. This place is what we want in our city. Walks around, I said, look, I know the Fire King guys who you recommended. They were saying we could probably get away with two fire extinguishers. I said, let's just go ahead and make three and everything will be good. He just looked around, signed it, left, said, you guys, good. Dallas, fire inspection passed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was so cool about it. Dude, that's the thing about dealing with some of the smaller cities. You can get some pretty cool people. So cool. And to have that fire inspection, that's number one. Yeah. Then we had the building inspector come in. He walked in, saw the construction, saw what we were doing, the high end, and he just looked around I was kind of talking to him, kind of schmooze him over a little bit, but he was just like, yep, yeah, you guys are good. I'm out of here. He kept trying to look at the one. He just kept trying to. I kept pointing to eight mile to look at all. I said, look at all the traffic, look at all the, cause I didn't want him to see this. Ah, look at all the traffic. Dude, he walked in, walked back. He was so itching to get back to the back and like, oh, let I me know. go ahead and get this done. There, but there was no, we didn't, there was, we didn't do anything. I mean, it was just tile the floor and the wall. It's so right. simple. So everybody knows now, it was the biggest secret, but it's out now, Angela Yee. What's up, how are you? She's the partner for Detroit location and it's just so awesome. Yo. Everyone's freaking out over the floors. Wow, when she walks through the door and she sees the floors like, you know, for the first time, just like me, just, Wow. So this is going to be storage in here, and then it all continues. I know. It's more storage in here. She takes a look around. She brings some friends. They're all blown away about how beautiful the space looks. She is super excited. We're excited to have her as a partner. We're going to do some amazing things with Angela. She wants this uh, big chandelier. She wants this, you know, Instagram wall and all this other stuff. Look, Angela, you can get whatever you want. So today we are walking through Detroit and I've always had this like negative kind of view of Detroit and I hate to say that guys, I really do. Dallas was not too excited about Detroit and going to Detroit, his friends were reaching out to him like, Dallas, be safe, be safe. I'm like, Dallas, we live in Atlanta. Like, what are you talking about? You know, cause it's always was snowy or whatever. The place just always reminded me of something thinking, hey, it's just, you know, run down. You would think that it's like full of crime and just not really nice. It's not. The city is in 
incredible. It is a hidden jewel. It's so beautiful there. It's a walkable city. The architecture is beautiful. People are so nice. It's such a friendly walking city. Great food, great people, great scenery. It's just awesome. I loved it. Dallas was blown away. He can't wait to go back. Detroit, you're in there. I have a really great feeling about Angela. I know she's going to be like a huge part of it. That's my new friend. I love her. I, I told you. <laughs> I, I mean, love her. The first time we met, like and talked, I just knew like eventually maybe we'd do business together. And then our later conversation just went really well. I think all of our business ethics align about doing great business, yeah. doing well, helping the community. And I think Detroit's such an underrated city. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It is. Man, listen, I, I really had my heart thinking, okay, you know, I was getting messages from people, be safe, be know, safe, you're coming to Detroit. We have had a blast. The city is gorgeous. These hidden jewels that are here, such as the artwork, man. And then seeing where the, the you know, slaves crossed over back in, oh my God, the yeah. railroad, underground a lot of history. railroad. A lot of history. And then we're looking at Canada right now. There's a lot of history and guess what? We're about to make history. We're about to make history. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Um, these are outdoor plants and azaleas. And I know he ain't gonna take no not for no forty nine dollars. Hell no. Well, you know Mikey is the Mikey, so it would be nice if he had a plant this big in his office. Forty nine, fifty nine dollars for this, and he got his. For 39. Now that's the boss move right there. I think this will work. Mikey getting some nice ones. You know what, Mikey? I love you. I do, brother. I do. I love your ass.